welcome to your midweek minute. It's your Pastor Daryl here from Washington Church of the Nazarene. Yes, I know it's not the midweek anymore. It's Thursday, but I'm doing this on purpose. Why? It's New Year's Eve, the last day of 2020. Can someone give me an amen? Pretty please. 2020 is almost over. We are counting down the hours. I'm excited, but you know what? Not that the 2020 is behind us, but what lies ahead? See, if you attend this local church, you know that we are in a spirit of revival. I cannot wait. Its excitement is in the air. Uh, we asked last week, what is revival to you? And hopefully you're still pondering that. Um, last, this past Sunday, we, we had a small group where we talked about what would, what would our dreams and what would our prayers be like if we real, really thought and, and saw God as the unlimitless, or the limitless God that he is. That God that knows no boundaries, that knows no, no ends. He has no restrictions. What would revival look like in you if you really thought about how limitless our God is? Well, we're going to continue our season of revival. One of the, I love a re good revival, but one thing about a revival I don't like is they're too short. They're way too short, but we're going to we're stretch out the season of revival. We are in revival. And it does all God brought. Why? The last two Sundays have been the best Sundays that I've been that we've had since I've been here. We've had the most people show up and watch online. This is un this is unreal. This is all because of God. And why can I say that? Because we have construction out there. It's a hot mess. It's hard to get to the church. You've got you got some pavement, some concrete. There's there's dips and and, and you gotta it's weird. But the last two Sundays we have had no room in our parking lot. So I'm going to be parking on the street. So there's one more spot in the parking lot for you. If you do not have a church home and you live in the southwest Indiana area, consider yourself well, you know, invited and you will be welcomed. We are in revival. So come expecting a spirit of revival. Come expecting what God can do in the midst of your soul and your spirit for the new year. What is God going to do for you in the new year? And what are you going to do for God in the new year. I love you. I'm praying for you. Until next week, have a great rest of the week and happy, happy new year.